All right, guys, this here is a Ford Racing uh, FL820S comparable. Um, I ran this on my 99 F-150 for uh, about 6,000 miles, and uh, I've never seen one of these cut open before, so I figured I'd try one. And I actually had to use the Sawzall because this casing is super thick. I don't know how well you can see that, but casing is super thick but the uh, spring is just you know your standard what you find in any motorcraft type thing the silicone doesn't no different than the other one either now this baby look how thick that thing is it's like a quarter inch thick that's a good gasket there and the tapping plate is really really heavy with pretty big holes bigger than most I've seen there's the thickness, but as you can see, the threads and the thickness of this plate. So there's that. And then over here, we have the filter element with the bypass valve on top. As you can see, it's held together with a metal strip. And there, there are a lot of pleats. I didn't count them. You might see some little metal chips. That's because, like I said, I had to use a sawzall to cut this thing apart. So there's a lot of little metal shavings, that's why. So everything else looked really good. I ran Royal Purple HPS oil in it, but I'm, I've since switched to Mobile One because of the price difference. And it's just a good oil to begin with, so I don't really need racing oil in it. So, but. That's what you get in a Ford Racing FL820S. Or comparable, it's a little messed up there, but that's what you get in that guy. So, if you have any questions or anything else? I'm not sure if this uh, media is synthetic or not. It's hard to tell since it's used, but uh, if you guys know anything else, please let me know. Thanks.